September 24th, 1996. Weezer releases their second studio album, Pinkerton. This would be their follow-up effort to their self-titled record, Weezer, commonly known as the Blue Album. When this album was released, it would be met with a lot of criticism due to its confessional nature with Rivers Cuomo revealing so much of his inner feelings with such a dark tone. This would cause Rivers to really stray away from revealing his own emotions and thoughts and would focus more on writing more mainstream music that is more um, user-friendly. However, it almost didn't go down this way. This is the story of Weezer's lost album, Songs from the Black Hole. In late 1994, early 1995, Rivers had been conceptualizing and recording demos for what would be later known as Songs from the Black Hole. The album has been described as a space rock opera telling the story of Captain Jonas and his crew. Jonas is a captain of the Betsy Two, leading a crew made up of members Juan, Dondo, Maria, and Laurel, with a robot known as M1. Jonas gets involved in a love triangle with Maria and Laurel. Maria f- falls in love with Jonas, and Jonas does not really share the same feeling, and Jonas falls in love with Laurel. Laurel finds out that... Um, Jonas had abandoned Maria and abandons Jonas, which leads to um, a relationship with uh, Dondo and Maria, and Captain Jonas later finds his love for Maria and ends up finding out that Maria and Dondo were together for a brief period, and when they land at their destination... Captain Rivers, uh, excuse me, Captain Jonas, elects to stay behind uh, to live a new and more simple life, as the life he had once had and the life he abandoned, he found to be better than the one that he ended up choosing. So, he wanted to find a new beginning on a new world by himself. The story was a metaphor for Rivers' life as a rock star. Juan and Dondo represent the part of Rivers that wanted to be a rock star and wanted to be successful, choosing to abandon many parts about his normal life to be a rock star. The ship represented the idea of touring and the long um, road travel that came with touring. Laurel and Maria represented uh, Rivers' entirety of his love life, um, revealing a lot of his struggles meeting women and finding love with um, the struggle of being famous and really finding it hard to find genuine love as a famous person. M1 represented his record label and his management, guiding him into a certain direction um, one that he may not really even want to be uh, um, going towards, but he has to do it anyway. Captain Jonas, as I mentioned before, is a representation of Rivers Cuomo himself, uh, revealing a lot of his doubts on being famous and being a rock star and longing for a simpler life that isn't filled with two words making music. It's just Rivers wants to go back to what made him happy originally, which was just living. And it's it's Rivers longing for a life of peace and solitude. The idea of Songs in the Black Hole would uh would be shelved uh for a couple reasons. Um around March of nineteen ninety five Rivers would uh get a surgery to lengthen one of his legs as when he was born, one of his legs was shorter than the other. So he had to get um, a leg extension surgery, which for those who don't know, it's one of the, the most painful surgeries you can get. 
because your entire leg has to adjust for the new, you know, I can't really explain the surgery to you, but um, your leg has to adjust to it being longer than it uh, once was. And so it's a majorly painful surgery. Um, this is also the inspiration for um, the good life as Rivers talks about needing a cane to walk, but a relevant story. Um, but anyway, Rivers needed surgery, and around this time, uh, during the therapy that he needed afterwards, um, he felt that the, the the concept of Songs in the Black Hole was a little bit more whimsical and not really what he was feeling at the time. And so Rivers' songwriting took a more serious tone uh, as the uh, the time went on. And this all culminated to when Rivers eventually briefly left Weezer to attend Harvard University in pursuit of an education um, in an act of self-isolation. And around this time, as his songwriting ability got increasingly better, you know, he was taking a lot of music theory and things like that, his, the, the songwriting that he was making now was a lot more depressing and a lot more dark and serious. And Rivers felt that that's where he wanted to take his music. And so the, the concept of Songs in the Black Hole really didn't match up with what he wanted later. Um, so a lot of the songs that Rivers had before Songs of the Black Hole and rewrote for it would later be rewritten again to be more standalone uh, that didn't need the concept to be successful. And those would be later added on Pinkerton, which would make up a lot of Pinkerton and would also be released as B-sides later on. The songs that were kept and revised for Pinkerton would be Tired of Sex, No Other One, and Get You. Um, a number of songs would also be released in some way or some form, such as Devotion, Long Time Sunshine, I Just Do About the Love of My Dreams, Tragic Girl, and a few others. Um, a lot of these songs would only see releases as B-sides, demos, um, mostly would be on the extended edition of Pinkerton, um, or even on Rivers Alone albums. Um, Long Time Sunshine and I Just Do About the Love of My Dreams would... Um, later on be performed on stage, but as far as that goes, that these are the only few times that this in, entire album has ever been publicly acknowledged by Rivers, other than, like, the the Pinkerton Diaries and other things like that. You know, there's, there's evidence that this album was a thing, and there's actually a lot of documentation about this album, but Rivers, Rivers and Weezer as a whole don't really acknowledge it much, even to this day. Like Pinkerton, this album would grow a cult following and would be praised by many fans of Weezer. Um, I know personally, uh, having just listened to it, uh, I listened to it a couple of times, but I listened to it before recording this. It's it's an exercise of Rivers' songwriting ability. Like, I, I can't describe it to you. It's some, I think everyone should have to listen to this album because, at least listen to it after Pinkerton because it's... It's almost, it's, it's so different, but it's also so in theme with Pinkerton. And the songs that made it onto Pinkerton really help guide this album through it. It, it makes for a really amazing and emotional journey. Um, the story of Jonas and Maria and their love, uh, their love affairs are really, really captivating. And I find the story super interesting. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of concept albums. I think that concept albums can be the easily most done wrong thing in music but songs in the black hole is is absolutely a masterpiece um long time sunshine oh, like for sure is like my favorite song off of it uh that song's always been emotionally connected to me always love that song it's so so good i i can't put it into words it's just the, the longing for the peace and solitude and the the accepting of moving on and finding your own way is just so so powerful in the in the way that it's presented uh it's just beautiful i do wish that this album was made it i think every every Weezer fan did wish this album was made um 
I think either way, though, because of the material that we do have of Songs in the Black Hole, I think that it's actually okay because we, we, we have all of Pinkerton. And in a weird way, we also still have all of Songs in the Black Hole, even though technically the album doesn't exist. We do have the entirety of the album, at least what we do believe is the entirety of the album. Um, at least what they recorded. So, um, I, I will put a link in the uh, description of the, the version, I the track list I listened to. There's a lot of different versions of the track list. Um, the version I listened to, I feel like, is the definitive one. I think that tells the story the best and makes the most sense. So, um, I'll do that. But, um, I do think it's really cool that we do get to enjoy both Pinkerton and Songs in the Black Hole. This was a shorter one, but um, I want to say thank you all for watching. We've been I've been seeing a boost in subscriber rates recently, um, which obviously for my channel isn't like crazy. We're only like we're at, we're at like two hundred thirteen, which f last week it was like one fifty. So that's pretty huge. Um, I I'm seeing an influx of views. It's really cool. Um, I I'm I'm really excited to keep releasing content. Um. I hope that as as I keep releasing more, that the fan interactions I get to have on, in the comments um, increase, and I hope that more ideas come through because I, I want to do content you want to see, and because I, I well I feel like a lot of the content I share is stuff I'm passionate about. I I hope that that inspires you to to share with me what you want to see because at the end of the day I'm I'm there to just entertain anyone who wants to give me the light of day so yeah please let me know in the comments if there's any content you would like to see but otherwise that's all for me thank you so much for watching and uh have a great day